This is what it's all about. This is the World Cup, baby. The biggest day of their entire life. 100 players, the battle bus is loaded. It is time. Looks like Landjock and Punisher go out very, very early in this first game to uh, Tetra and uh, Eclipse, the new uh, Rogue members. They're wasting a lot of material right now. You can already see it. He's got only a hundred max left. That's ten builds. These early game fights are always so detrimental. You have to be very, very, very particular with how many mats you're going to use when you're trying to ramp rush somebody because if you make it there and they shoot you out and you have no mats, yep. I mean, you're left with literally nothing to protect yourself with. And look at the advantage that you now have. Tetra hasn't found had any shields, but right. because two eliminations come on through, yep. he gets both. That's 50 shield per limb, putting him at max HP, and now he can completely change how he takes this fight. It's not like the normal games where you're still stuck at 100 health and you might second guess what you want to do. You might play a little bit more passively. No, because of those early limbs, they now have Dusty Divot to themselves. They pushed out the Asian duo, pushing towards that top Dusty Divot side of XXM and Mend, and now they're sitting pretty. Divot all to themselves. They've got metal galore here, as well as wood. The one material that really be lacking is going to be stone. Yeah, definitely going to be lacking stone. They can get a 500 metal, which is going to be their most valuable asset here, landing in dust. Uh, here we got Texture right now, already getting beamed. He's spamming the space bar, trying to make it as difficult as possible to hit. He sees a lot of look at already trying to figure out right now where's he going to land. Look at all these people who are already boxed up. They're already creating these tunnels. More shots coming down. Ooh. And he's going to be able to make it. Eight grenades. So. That's going to be, I mean, if you can get in a position where some players are already getting focused on the outside, eight grenades, he might. A few brief moments as there's Eclipse now using them. He's got his teammate right next door as well, Medkit. So if they're going to pop that to every little bit of HP matters, saving the campfire for the late game, it appears. It's Ronaldo. Definitely save the campfire. And uh, continue to get materials now. Moving towards Dusty Divot. Rogue members Tet Tetra and Eclipse currently building on up the players just below. Eclipse and Skeptic. The duo underneath. A little bit of a split for Tetra and Eclipse A. Hopefully does not come to bite them in the back. We'll see here in a second. Eclipse A pushing up, trying to match position with Tetra. Shots on the baller. You don't want to see those things last too oh. long. Nobody was in it. It was just rolling down the hill. And this could be really useful for Ben because the players down low that are going to get by this airstrike, I believe it's Eclipse and Skeptic are only building with wood, and wood gets shredded on through. And Skeptic, because of that, now down to just 25 HP, and that might be the green light for this duo to push on forward. One player challenging up top. Eclipse A has him trapped in the box. Does take a little bit more damage. It will be a build battle for height. Eclipse A with a ton of materials, but look at the elimination feed. Tetra with the elim on the Skeptic, so it's a two versus one. Clicks all by himself. Even if there's a sacrifice in the 2v1, that 1v1 afterwards in the pickup, the revive your teammate might be the best play. We'll see here in a second. Pressure from above, not yet. Clicks all in his line. This is the Fortnite World Cup Finals, New York City, where you at?